of Mice and Men. Two migrant farmers, George and Lenny, have been let off a bus in California, miles from where they are supposed to start work. George is a small man, Lenny is a giant person. The two get tired and decide to camp for the night. As they learn about each other, George notices Lenny is mentally challenged and is dependent on him. George realizes the mouse Lenny is petting is dead, and he had killed it not knowing his own strength. George discards the mouse angrily out of disgust. Lenny becomes a burden on George, but deep down, George has affection for Lenny. They find out they both dream of owning their own farm one day. The next day, the two get to the farm. George lies, saying they are cousins, and Lenny was kicked in the head by a horse as a child, and the two get hired. They meet Candy, a handyman with a missing hand. They are also introduced to Curly, the boss's angry son. George and Lenny are in the bunkhouse, and Curly's wife comes in and flirts with them. Lenny is enamored. George senses the trouble this could cause and tells Lenny to stay away. The rest of the guys come back to the bunkhouse and they meet Slim, who has a lot of influence and responsibility on the ranch. Carlson, one of the ranch hands, suggests giving Candy one of the new dogs just born and shooting his old dying dog. The next day, George confesses to Slim that they are not cousins but longtime friends. He tells him Lenny often gets them in trouble, and at the last job he was accused of rape for innocently touching a girl's soft dress. Slim, sympathetic, gives Lenny one of the newborn puppies. Carlson keeps trying to get Candy to put his dog down, saying it is the best thing to do for a suffering animal. Candy finally allows him to. Later, Curly is looking for his wife and starts accusing Slim. At the same time, Candy finds out about George and Lenny's dream of buying land and wants in. They let him in on the plan, but they all agree to keep it a secret. Then, Slim and Curly walk in, and Curly tries to pick a fight with Lenny, who breaks Curly's hand. Slim tells the enraged Curly he cannot fire Lenny or George. The next night, the men go to a brothel and leave Lenny behind with Crooks, the black stable hand. Curly's wife comes in and flirts with the men, and she likes Lenny because he hurt Curly. The next day, Lenny accidentally kills his dog. Curly's wife comes to console Lenny. He tells her he likes soft things, and she lets him touch her hair. Lenny grabs too tightly and she screams. In a panic, Lenny grabs tighter and breaks her neck. Lenny runs away to the Salinas River where George told him to go if he got in trouble. George meets Lenny there as the rest of the group form a lynching mob. George is not mad and tries to console Lenny. They begin to hear the group of men coming and George shoots Lenny in the back of the head as he tells them the story of the farm they would buy together. The men get there, and George tells them that Lenny had the gun, and he fought him and shot him in self-defense. Slim realizes what really happened and walks away with George, leaving the other man confused. <laughs>